doing jelly sandals? <laughs> women's jelly sandals? With instructions in about 40 minutes. Are they women's or men's jelly sandals? <laughs> They're the dude's jelly sandals. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for a funny one. Funny? Uh-huh. I like funny. Two of my favorite directors. Oh. The Coen brothers. Oh, you do like the Coen brothers. Fargo. No Country for Old Men. So is this going to be, like, dark, then? Yeah, it'll be a little a little dark comedy. Because they do dark yeah. comedies. Yeah. Not too dark, though. This one's pretty lighthearted. Okay. They also do some lighthearted stuff. Usually it has some, like, wonkiness going on, though. Some, like, bad luck, right? Sure. So yeah, why haven't you seen The Big Lebowski? You know, okay, I tried to watch it one time. Uh, I watch. I tried to watch it right after I had my wisdom teeth pulled, and I was like on hydros and stuff. So <laughs> fell asleep yeah. like two seconds into it. Do you remember anything about it? No, I do know from pop culture. It's got the guy with um, Jeff Bridges. Yeah, with wears a he's the dude. Right? Yeah, he wears a bathrobe. And I think there's like a bowling ball in it. John Goodman with a bowling ball. Sure. But that's just from like pop cultural references. I don't actually remember anything. I I definitely do not remember a thing about any (laughs) part of it that I watched. I don't think I watched much of it and I don't remember anything about it. All right. Well, I think you're in for a treat because you'll remember it once you've watched it. It's one of those movies that you... I'll want to watch it again. Yeah. It'll become part of your rewatches like before you go to bed for... Oh, really? It'll be like... Yeah. Purchase worthy to watch before bedtime. Mm-hmm. Oh, why are you? Throw it on your movies anywhere. Yeah. Love it. To watch on your phone while you're trying to shake off the nightmares of the next haunting of Hill exactly, House. Exactly. Yeah. Shall we watch? All right. Well, you are you ready to jump in? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're watching a comedy tonight. I can't believe it. <laughs> and right. check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch The Big Lebowski. Let's do it. Kind of westerny. Oh, yeah, it's also a western. Is it? Yeah, most Coen Brothers movies are kind of westerns. This Lebowski, he called himself the Dude. Now, Dude, that's a name no one would self-apply where I come from. <laughs> but then there was a lot about the Dude that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And a lot about where he lived, likewise. Maybe that's why I found the place so darn interesting. California? Yeah, and I don't understand the appeal either. <laughs> I like this guy. Who is he? <laughs> the narrator? You don't recognize his voice? I do. Can't remember his name. But I see that mustache. And that's the dude in Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> Quite possibly the laziest in Los Angeles County. Oh, he's not going to drink half and half, is he? But sometimes there's a man... Sometimes. Sniffing it? Lost my train of thought here. <laughs> but, ah, oh, hell. I done introduced him enough. He's writing a check for 69 cents? <laughs> yeah, you bought a carton of half and half. You had to pay for it. Oh, and he drank it, too. Who drinks half and half? It's so gross. The dude does. <laughs> oh. He just bought that half and half. Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money, shit? Oh, it's, uh, it's down there somewhere. Let me take another look. <laughs> <laughs> Ever thus the deadbeats, Lebowski. No, no, don't do that. Not on the rug, man. You got the wrong guy. I'm the dude, man. Your name's Lebowski, Lebowski. Is this? Obviously, you're not a golfer. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this guy supposed to be a millionaire? <laughs> he looks like a fing loser. I mean, good for him being a millionaire and still living like that, huh? I don't think he's a millionaire. This is going to compete with your other favorite bowling movie, I think. Kingpin? Yeah. Uh-huh. No way. It's hard to beat Kingpin. 
I'm going to want to go bowling after this now. You'll just lose. Uh, sure. You're afraid? Afraid to bowl with me? Sam Elliott! Duh, Sam Elliott. The I knew it. I was just waiting for you to see mm. it. Uh, he's, like, the epitome of sexy, Sam Elliott. That voice, that mustache. Coors, the banquet beer. <laughs> If we had a bowling alley closer, I would be in a bowling league. I'm throwing rocks tonight. This was a valued rock. <clears throat> this was a... Uh... Yeah, man, it really tied the room together. So this was a valued... Uh... Yeah. Tied the room together, dude? My rug. <laughs> He's upset about the rug. <laughs> Donnie, you're like a child who wanders into Walter, the middle of a movie and wants to know... Walter, what... <laughs> Walter, what is the point? Look, we all know who is it. She's not wearing socks with those. <laughs> Gross. We're talking about unchecked aggression here. What the f is he talking my about? My rug. Forget look, it, Donnie. You're Walter, out of your element. Walter, the <laughs> Chinaman who peed on my rug. I and dude, across this line, you do not. Also, dude, Chinaman is not the preferred nomenclature. <laughs> Asian American, please. <laughs> This isn't a guy who built the railroads here. This is a guy. What the f are you Walter? <laughs> he peed on my rug. He peed on the dude's rug. <laughs> the other Jeffrey Lebowski, the millionaire. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> I love his bag. That rug really tied the room together, did it not? Hey, this guy peed on it. Donnie. It's great leather work. His name is Lebowski. That's your name, dude. This is the guy. <laughs> yeah, of course, Mr. Lebowski on the left. So he's a, uh, you know, a, a, a uh, handicapped uh, guy? Mr. Lebowski is <laughs> privately with the president, though unfortunately there wasn't enough time for a photo opportunity. Oh, Nancy's pretty good. Oh, wonderful woman. <laughs> oh, those are Mr. Lebowski's children, oh, different so mothers, to speak. Huh? No, they're not. Racially, he's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> My advice to you is to do what your parents did. Get a job, sir. The bums will always lose. Do you hear me, Lebowski? How was your meeting, Mr. Lebowski? Okay. The old man told me to take any rug in the house. <laughs> I'll suck your for a thousand dollars. Grant can't watch, though. Or you have to pay a hundred. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go find a cash machine. <laughs> Is it Tara Reed? Mm -hmm. I think it's a Pomeranian. Oh, I can't leave him home alone or eat some furniture. I'm watching it while Cynthia Martin. Not a Pomeranian. <laughs> Pomeranian bowling? Papers. <laughs> over the line! Huh? I'm sorry, Smokey. You were over the line. That's a foul. Bullshit, Walter. Mark at eight, dude. Smokey, this is not nom. This is bowling. There are rules. Hey, <laughs> Smokey, my friend, you're entering a world of pain. Walter, man. You mark that frame and eight, you're entering a world of pain. You think I'm around there marking zero? <laughs> Say he's got an anger management problem? You know, dude, I myself dabbled in pacifism at one point. Not in Nam, of course. And you know, he's got <laughs> emotional problems, man. Huh? I did not know that. Was the dog even in the carrier? No, he was right beside him. He's going to leave the dog? I just got a, an informal report that a member of your team, uh, Walter Solchak, drew a Oh, white Russian. That's why he's got the half and half, huh? I'm performing my dance quintet. You know, my cycle... At Crane Jackson's Fountain Street Theater on oh, Tuesday God. night. And That's what you look like when you drink stuff. Helps filter it. <clears throat> Tomorrow's already the 10th. Far out. Rents too. Oh, oh, all right, okay. Wait, instructions, wow. no funny stuff. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bummer. Rug, <laughs> and you're in a unique position to confirm or disconfirm that suspicion. 
He thinks the carpet pissers did this. <laughs> Oh, a jumpsuit. You don't see those very often. Oh, gross. <laughs> Big fan of purple, huh? Or lilac? Is that like a lilac color, would you say? Huh? Oh. What do you mean, dude? Rug peers did not do this. Look at it. <laughs> Young rug peers did not do this. Shut the f up, Donnie. The I Lenin. Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov. What is he talking about? <laughs> I did not watch my buddies die face down in the muck so that this f***ing strumpet. This He's intense. <laughs> I see you roll your way into the semis. Liam and me, we're gonna f you up. Yeah, well. You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs> Nobody f with the Jesus. <laughs> Eight year olds, dude. They give him psychedelics or something. <laughs> they actually put a camera in a bowling ball for that shot. Did they? Mm -hmm. Oof, made me want to puke. Did they steal his rug? <sighs> That's rude. Jelly sandals? <laughs> Women's jelly sandals? They will call you on the portable phone with instructions in about 40 minutes. Are they women's or men's jelly sandals? <laughs> They're the dude's jelly sandals. <laughs> That's crazy. Her life is in your hands. Don't say Mr. Lebowski asked me to repeat <laughs> Don't that. say that. <laughs> report back to us as soon as it's done. No pressure. Dude, the bag man. Man, where do you want us to go? Us? Yeah, you know, uh, me and the driver. Dude, are you f***ing us up? Who is that? That is the driver. I told you. Shit! What the f*** going on? Walter, what the f*** is going on? He hung on? up, man! Dude, this is a Let's fuck on him! <laughs> Did Walter just shoot himself? Ah, f dude. Let's go bold. Okay, the loose cannon. Yeah, how come you don't roll on Saturday, Walter? I'm Shomer Shabbos. What's that, Walter? Yeah, and in the meantime, what do I tell Lebowski? Saturday, Donnie, is Shabbos, the Jewish day of rust. That means I don't work, I don't I drive a car, and I sure as sh don't f***ing roll! Sheesh. Shomer Shabbos! <laughs> Walter, how am I gonna? So we made the drop and everything went, you know. Oh yeah, how'd it go? Well, all right. Dude's car got a little dinged up. Walter, we did. It's her dead body on top of the car. Where is your car? Oh. F it. His freaking jelly shoes. I cannot get over it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> my rug was also installed. Your rug was in the car? No, here. Separate incidents. I'm the one who took your rug. Well, I guess we can close the file on that one. Mr. 
She's doing it naked, eh? <laughs> Welcome on back. Do you mean the boobies? Does the female form make you uncomfortable, Mr. Lebowski? My art has been commended as being strongly vaginal, which bothers some men. The word itself makes some men uncomfortable. Makes some women uncomfortable, too. Vaginal. <laughs> About the rug. Do you like sex, Mr. Lebowski? Excuse me? Sex, the physical act of love. Coitus. Do you like uh, it? You're not interested in sex. You mean coitus? I like it. <laughs> called ceteriasis in men, nymphomania in women who engage in it compulsively and without joy. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if your stepmother is a nympho, but, uh, you know, I don't... <laughs> Oh, I know that guy. He's a nihilist. Carl Hungus. Is this a porno? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my friend Sherry. She just came over to use a shower. The story is ludicrous. <laughs> Police matter, so I'm proposing that you try to recover the money from the people you delivered it to. Well. He can do that. It's, if he it's finds his, his car. car. <laughs> uh, home sweet home, Mr. Rell. Gotta find your car. Son of a bitch, no hey, argument. Hey, hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? <laughs> Come on. Uh, who are you gonna believe? Those guys are. We dropped off the damn money. We? Why? <laughs> the royal we, you know? <laughs> Shit. You know, it, 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 this could be a, a, a lot more uh, 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 complex. I mean, it's not just, it might not be just such a simple, uh, you know? What is the <laughs> And that's cool. That's, that's cool. I, I'm saying she needs money. Look at his face. <laughs> Looks like he's smelling a really bad fart, right? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, my concern is, and I've got to check it with my accountant, but that this might bump me up into a higher tax... Uh... Brand. <laughs> <laughs> since you have stolen my money, since you have unrepentedly betrayed my trust, I have no choice but to tell these bums to do whatever is necessary. A green toe or something? I will not abide another toe. I hear the cotton <laughs> That wasn't her toe, dude. <laughs> Whose toe was it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who else's toe would it be? I do know that nothing about it indicates Man, it the nail a... polish, Walter. Fine, dude. <laughs> it's impossible to get some nail polish, apply it to someone else's toe. Someone else? Walker. Who else's toe? <laughs> you want a get... toe? I can get you a toe. <laughs> There are ways, dude. You don't want to know about it, believe me. Yeah, but Walter. Hell, I can get you a toe by 3 o'clock this afternoon with Nick. Oh my god, Walter's annoying. <laughs> I'm staying. <laughs> I'm finishing my coffee. Enjoying my coffee. <laughs> He's that kind of guy, right? He's that guy. This is a private residence, man. <laughs> oh, who's this fella? Oh, nice marmot. Poor ferret. Excuse me? I said we cut off your junction. Just think about that, Lebowski. Boys down at the crime lab. They uh, got uh, four more detectives working on the case. They got us working in shifts. <laughs> <laughs> Leads. <laughs> that keeping wildlife, um, an amphibious rodent for, um, you know, domestic. An amphibious rodent? No, I'm just trying Who to offer a about the marmot. <laughs> fucking sympathy, man. I need my Johnson. 
What do you need that for, dude? You have got to. <laughs> You got a good there he is. Sioux City Sarsaparilla? Yeah, it's a good one. How you doing there, dude? Not too good, man. Sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar will eat you. I like your style, dude. Oh, well, I dig your style too, man. <laughs> that whole cowboy thing going. Thank you. <laughs> you have to use so many cuss words. What the f are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Marty's told me all about you. She'll be back in a minute, sit down. Oh, that skinny little mustache is disgusting. <laughs> Who the f are you, man? <laughs> Just a friend of Marty's. Yeah, the friend with a cleft ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's a musician, he used to have a group, Autobahn. They released one album in the late 70s. So he's pretending to be the abductor. Well, yeah. Look, Jeffrey. You know, oh, all three of them. No, no, man, she hit me right here. I understand. Could you slide your shorts down, please? He's thorough. A high schooler stole his car. There's a high, high schooler out there with a million dollars. What's happening here? He's at his landlord's dance. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, the In N Out Burger's on camera. Near the In N Out Burger. Those are good burgers, Walter. Shut the f up, Donnie. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we'll go there after the uh, what have you. We'll brace the kid. Should be a pushover. We'll be near the in and out burger. Shut the f up, Donnie. I'm impressed that it's still running, to be honest, <laughs> right? That's him, dude. An iron lung? Is he still right? Oh, no, no. He has health problems. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. What? Look, Larry, have you ever heard of Vietnam? Oh, You're entering the world of peace. <laughs> okay. It's time for plan B. You might want to watch out that front window, Larry. Son, this is what happens when you f a stranger in the ass! Language problem here. Here you go, Larry. You see what happens? You don't know that that's his car. See what happens, Larry? You see what happens? This is what happens. You see what happens, Larry? What happens, Larry? This is what happens when you straight up. What the f are you doing, man? Stop it! Come on, man. I'll kill you. No, no. Hey, that's not his head. God damn it. At least they got the in and out, huh? <laughs> you ever had an in and out? Uh, I think one time in Vegas. I don't really remember it. Just making a booby trap. <laughs> idiot. Is this like the Hugh Hefner of this movie or something? He's the porn producer. Right. 
How's the smut business, Janky? I wouldn't know, dude. I deal in publishing, entertainment, political advocacy. Uh, which one's log jamming? Yes, really. <laughs> the brain is the biggest erogenous zone. On you, maybe. Plus, <laughs> us to do very exciting things in interactive erotic software 100 percent electronic hmm. well i still jerk off manually <laughs> it's like well it's not helpful <laughs> five grand i'll go out and mingle a little drugged him, huh? Little Rufy. <laughs> really? Hide the room together. Darkness washed over the dude, darker than a black steer's tukus on a moonless prairie night. a little weird. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> this, uh, this porn's got a pretty good storyline. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Treehorn treats objects like women, man. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't listening. Ow! <laughs> Holy shit. She cut off her own toe. No, she cut off somebody else's toe. Walter was right. Did not see that coming. I get you too. <laughs> Tripped on his own booby trap. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Jeffrey. Bond? Love me. Uh, that's my robe. Why did he think you have it? Who does? Oh, Larry Sellers. What's she doing with her legs? You know, this is a very complicated case, Mom. A lot of ins, a lot of outs. Uh, She's on his bed or something? Money. I keep telling you it's the foundation's money. Father doesn't have any. Is she trying to get pregnant? Was that yoga? It increases the chances of conception. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you think this is all about? Fun and games? I want a child. With him? You don't want a child with him. I don't want a partner. In fact, I don't want the father to be someone I have to see socially or who oh, have any okay. interest in raising the child himself. So that doctor, um... Exactly. No. Got it. It's the family farm. It's outside of uh, Moorhead, Minnesota. They think it'll make her homesick. Oh, boy. How are you going to keep them down on the farm once they've seen Carl Hungus? <laughs> <laughs> Her toe. What's happening? And Lebowski, you know, he yelled at me a lot, but he didn't do anything, huh? So Tara Reed hired the Autobahn group to pretend. You come off it, Walter. You're not even Jewish, man. The f are you talking Man, about? You're <laughs> Polish Catholic. What <laughs> Three thousand years of beautiful tradition from Moses to Sandy Kopex. You're goddamn right. I'm living in the past. I. Jesus, what the hell happened? Where was she, man? 
visiting friends of hers in Palm Springs. She just picked up and left. Who is this gentleman, dude? Who am I? I'm a veteran. <laughs> Disappear. All you needed was a sap to pin it on. You just met me, you you human paraquat. You figure, <laughs> you know, uh, a deadbeat. Somebody the square community won't give a shit about. Well, aren't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> this guy f***ing walks. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. You stay away from me, Walter. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. Come on, get come away from me. Walter, Walter. 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 Put him down, man, oh, baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> come on, man. Help me put him back in his chair. <laughs> I mean, I had an M16 Jacko, not a neighbor f***ing tank. Me and Charlie. Eyeball to eyeball. Yeah. What's he doing his nails for? Woo! You got a day Wednesday, baby. <laughs> He's cracking. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, they finally did it. They killed my f***ing car. Are these the Nazis? No, Donnie. These men are nihilists. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> No, come on, Walter. Come on, we're ending this thing cheap, man. No, what's mine is mine. No. He's got like 60 cents on him, right? I f you! F you! Oh. I f my Got help chopper in. in. Donnie was a millionaire or something. You are the bereaved. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's like a millionaire. He left his his money to these guys. I assume this is credit card. Yeah. Or maybe not. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, we're uh. <clears throat> Can't we just rent it from you? Yeah. <laughs> Our most modestly priced receptacle. God damn it! Is there a Ralph's around here? I really thought they were gonna find their money some other way. Donnie was a good bowler and a good man. He was, he was one of us. He was a man who loved the outdoors. He died as so many young men of his generation before his time. As you took so many bright, flowering young men at Quezon, at Londoc, at Hill 364. Theodore Donald Karabatsos, in accordance with what we think your dying wishes might well have been. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Oh, sh**. You eat the bar, and sometimes, uh, you know. Hey, man. How do you do, dude? I wonder if I see you again. Take it easy, dude. Oh yeah. I know that you will. The dude abides. <laughs> the dude abides. I don't know about you, but I take comfort in that. Things seem to have worked out pretty good for the dude and Walter. And it was a pretty good story, don't you think? Made me laugh to beat the band. <laughs> Catch you later on down the trail. 
Say, friend, you got any more of that good sarsaparilla? This is a weird movie. <laughs> <laughs> Very Coen Brothers, right? Mm -hmm. That was a unique one. Yeah. I'm... What? I feel like more people would be mad about the money still. It's not about the money, dude. <laughs> no, it's about the carpet pisser, right? Yeah. He just wanted his rug back. Yeah. I think actually what I loved most about this whole movie was the friendship between the dude and Walter. Mm -hmm. Like, that underlying... They're going to be there for each other and do anything for each other that it takes, but just one's constantly f***ing up and the other, and then apologizing and the other's just like, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just loved it. It's so funny. Yeah. So Donnie, yeah. Steve Buscemi's character, Walter was telling him to shut the, shut fuck, the fuck up, up the Donnie, whole time. Yeah. The Coen brothers wrote this part for Steve Buscemi after Fargo, when Steve Buscemi's character in Fargo does not stop talking. Oh, and so they wrote it's this. Kind of like, a, like a play on. <laughs> yeah. <Shut up. laughs> so yeah. What else is on your mind after this? Actually, kind of reminded me of my dad and his band of misfit <laughs> friends, right? Like yeah. they're just the misfits mm -hmm. that that found each other because they're <laughs> all misfits together. Yeah, I don't know. I just loved it. And then they had this like weird story yeah, in between this, like the little heist they got mixed yeah. up into right <laughs> all because of his carpet <laughs> <laughs> and he had the same name as some rich guy he really ties the room together mm. you know <laughs> that's what i love about this movie it's just it's just a a wonky adventure it's just like yeah it's like not even necessary right like the whole thing isn't really necessary it's just yep a crazy little adventure and uh jeff bridges as the dude like he, just the character they created with Jeff impressive. Bridges and the Com Com brothers, all the little quirks and little details of like the jellies on his feet, yeah. <laughs> yes. his random t-shirts and jelly sweaters. jelly shoes. I won't ever get over that. That's hilarious. <laughs> the jelly shoes. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And he seems intelligent at some points. And then he puts that door brace yeah. on an outswinging yeah. <laughs> door. <laughs> that was the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Such an idiot. What else is going through your head? It was just a lighthearted, enjoyable movie. Yeah. yeah. Out of the Coen Brother movies you've seen, where would you put this? Well, I don't remember any Coen Brother movies. Fargo. Fargo is the only one I can think of. No Country for Old Men. This one's better than No Country for Old Men. Yeah. That's kind of a different genre. Totally different style, yeah. This is more towards the Fargo kind of yeah. funny mishaps and while well, there's crap going on. This might be better than Fargo in my mind just because it is less it's more lighthearted yeah and less dark. dark yeah yep the dude abides what other coen brothers movies uh raising arizona i'm not seeing that there's a bunch we gotta watch burn after reading never seen it uh oh brother or art thou saw it really a long time ago yeah. they do a bunch of different uh, they're a good they, variety yeah, they mix their genres a lot huh mm -hmm. yeah that's good. I liked it a lot. I'd watch it again. Which people comment on? Favorite character. Yeah. Right? Who's your favorite character in The Big Lebowski? Favorite line? Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's everybody what has a favorite a, line. A line that's sticking in your head. The one that the, about the carpet that really ties the room together. <laughs> <laughs> it really tied the room together. Man. I'm just so upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your favorite dude line, right? Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with us and watching The Big Lebowski. It was a, it was a good time. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.